Hello everyone, TJ here, back with another episode for Rollback. And today I am reviewing Super Brawl 91. And in fact, this is actually the very first Super Brawl event in the company's history. Now let me give you guys a little backstory, um, leading up to this event actually. Um, this area had just come off a tour of Japan. And um, while they were in Japan, Ric Flair had a match with Tatsumi Fujinami for the IWGP World Championship, which was uh, New Japan's um, version of, you know, the world title. Um, for those of you that don't know what the IWGP stands for, it's International Wrestling Grand Prix. And um, supposedly what I was told is that um, the match, no one won the match, was what I was told. And um, and they and that rematch was signed and was supposed to, and, and, and it was contested here on Super Brawl 91. But this time it would be for the WCW World title. And so it's Flair against Fujinami. Here we go, round two, supposedly, in... Uh, in Florida. So, anyway, anyway, so that's the main event. I gotta say, um, it is an absolute great main event, in my opinion. Um, and possibly one of Flair's most physically demanding match. Like, it, like, it, like, it's all there. Like, like, a lot, a lot of ground game, everything. Just, it was just a great main event, actually. So, you guys gotta see, see this event just to see the main event. Um, uh, the undercard, actually, was pretty darn, was good for, for the most part. Um, um, we had like three of our titles. Um, the U.S. tag team titles were on the line between uh, the Fabulous Freebirds and the Young Pistols. And actually, um, the tag team, the U.S. tag team titles were actually vacated by the Steiners because for some reason WCW, WCW had a policy saying that um, uh, yeah, yeah, you got hit, yeah, you can't beat um, both U.S. and World ch Tag Team Champions, so they had to vacate um, the U.S. Championship because they I don't know, I don't know. It was just it was just a ridiculous idea. And it was between uh, um, the Fabulous Freebirds and the Young Pistols, and of course. How creative! Come on, can't can't think of anything cre and clever. But uh, it was a team of Tracy Smothers and Steve Armstrong. I'd say I gotta say pretty pretty good, good pretty good match. Um, good chem tag team chemistry. You guys guys see this match just mm, mm, just for you know, you know. Hey, it's your fabulous Freebirds. Come on, Michael P. S. Hayes, baby. <laughs> um, the World Tag Team Tales were also contested that night between uh, the Steiners and Sting Lex Luger, which I have mentioned before. A good. World Tag Team title, title match. Um, uh, it's all it's all there. I didn't really like the finish. And for those of you that, have, that are familiar with the ma match, you know what happens. But uh, uh, other than that, good a good World ta Tag Title match. And uh, the World Television Title was on the line between Arn Anderson and Bobby Eaton. And, and and in my opinion, this was almost like a show stealing ma match. Well, aside from the World Tag Team Titles, and it's so weird seeing. Bobby Eaton compete in singles competition when I'm so used to seeing him in tag team competition uh, with the Midnight Express. And um, <laughs> it's just so it's just so weird, but it was actually a pretty gar darn ma good match, actually. I'm just, pardon, pardon me. And uh, get, in my opinion, just like I said, a good show stealing match. Um, uh, it's all there. You got to see it. Um, nothing, nothing else too special. Just a couple of filler matches. Like, um, it was Dustin Rhodes against Terry Taylor. Um, good. Um, Brian Pillman against Barry Windham. Uh, nothing too special there. Um, the match was a T fist match. Didn't understand that, but hey, it was good. Um, another noticeable thing about this event, um, this actually marked this actually marked the most infamous debut of Oz. Oz, let's talk about that for there. Um, it's Kevin Nash debuting as a character from Wizard of Oz. It's it's weird. I mean. They could have think of thought of anything more creative. It's it's just so weird. Like and besides, it, they they had it all decked out, you know, Wizard of Oz style. It was like I said, it was it's just it was just ridiculous to watch. And uh, I think we all want to forget this in, this character, especially you know when it was part of Nash's career, aside from Vinny Vegas. But that's just me. <laughs> but anyway, um, other than that, oh, steel cage match between uh, Butch Reed and Ron Simmons, a good steel cage match between. Two former tag team partners, and um, and just just it was just an all round fight actually, in, in inside a cage, and uh, not too special there, but still, but still worth a watch. But it, it, in my opinion, this this show and Joe kind of knocked it out park, especially you know main event event was like two different champions just fighting for one title and telling that just knocked it out of the park. The undercard. Card and card, you know, especially the four matches, not too special, but the tag, but the art title definitely. You should watch. And that's why this gets my overall rating of 8 out of 10. Let me know what you think. Rollback rolls on. Take care.